So I hope you all are doing great. It's me, Nikki, here, and I'm excited to share a project that I recently worked on in my brother and sister in love's home. And it's where I did some cabinet reorganization. So I want to take you on that journey. So let's jump right in. Okay, friends, first I want to apologize for the lighting on some of the footage. It's really dark and it's because of the way everything is positioned. But this is the before picture of the area in their kitchen that I will be working on. It is the coffee bar area and in the cabinets currently she has a Mod Podge. It's kind of a catch-all for a variety of things. And so she ideally wants this to be the space where she has all of her entertaining pieces because she often has large groups of friends and family over and she wants to easily be able to get to these items. With that being said, they also got new countertops this past week. Absolutely beautiful. She has a blog called Life Inspirations by Angela.com and she shares her journey of the new countertops and you know she has dark cabinets and how she wanted to lighten her kitchen. So you may want to check that out, especially if you're one that has dark cabinets and you want to light you know lighten your space I'll link it below so definitely check it out but we're going to jump in and start with the space because I want to take you on this journey and I hope you will enjoy so let's get started So friends, the first thing that I did was I went into the cabinets and purged. Whenever you're trying to reorganize your kitchen cabinets, you want to take everything out so that you can really get everything behind those, you know, cups and all of that out because you will be surprised what you will find. And you get rid of everything that you're not using, that you do not love, that you have not touched in forever. You want to pass it on to be a blessing to someone else. So here are all of the items that we purged and she was so glad to get rid of a lot of these because as we were doing it, it really was rejuvenating to really remove these things from her life because she was not using them. They were taking up valuable real estate in her home and they could be passed along to be a blessing to someone else. And a lot of times when you're cleaning out your cabinets, you will find a multitude of things that you forgot you even had, like that cake cup, that cupcake stand that you had from your kid's birthday party two years ago that you never used again, or those random glasses that you had that you maybe only have two and you don't have a complete set so it's time to pass those things on and really have your cabinets represent your current lifestyle what you're currently using and really function for you okay so now that it's all cleared out it's all cleaned out it's time to plan and reorganize and so by doing that I take measurements of the space because when I'm buying my drawer inserts and baskets and bins and things like that I want to make sure that I get the right size because you don't want to spend extra money and then I hit the store getting those storage solutions and I knew I needed baskets because I was putting her glasses in that because when she entertains a lot of people she's having to take one glass out at a time to set it up and with them being in a basket she can just lift the entire basket out take it over to the part of the house where she's entertaining and it makes it so much easier for her plus it's beautifully stored away and it's really neat and the white dishes so we went to the Dollar Tree they had the prettiest white dishes in there she loved them we were able to get enough to get her a set that she needed because she needed a larger set because she entertained so many people at one time and this was the perfect solution for that and what was so special while we were in the Dollar Tree I ran into Lisa who is a subscriber friend and it was so neat to actually see you and meet you in person that was so good to even just give you a hug and she I know I held her up in line because we had all of these dishes and she was behind us in line but it gave us time to kind of chit chat so I love that now that we have the baskets which, I, which I'm going to use for the glasses I needed something for the drawers because I wanted to put the coffee into the drawer so that she had them you know all the teas and coffee together it made it simple for everyday use and then also when she's entertaining she could just have her guests open the drawer and get whatever they wanted or whatever they wanted to drink now the next thing I recommend is putting your bins or baskets or whatever you're using to organize in the space before you put the dishes and things in. That way you can ensure everything fits, you know where you want to put what, but now you can see that everything has a place. She can easily get to what she needs. She did have some of her grandmother's china that she wanted to keep, but to keep the look looking consistent when she opens the cabinet, I put the cups in the back because they had a design on them, and then I put the plates toward the front because all you would see is the white, so it blended in with her under other white dishes. So that's just a little tip there just to keep everything looking cohesive. 
So the great thing about it is I feel like she has everything that she wants now. She wanted the white dishes for entertaining along with she wanted an easy way to get her glasses out. Plus with her other entertaining pieces, I sorted them by color. All the silver pieces together, all of the glass pieces together so that when she's needing those, she knows you know which area to go to for what. They're not mixed all together so she knew where everything was. Now for the drawers, this is where I'm going to put all of the coffees and the teas. Again, making it simple for when guests are there, she can just pull out the drawer. They can get whatever they want. You know, it's already, 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 already. It's set up all the time. The drawer here kept the same. Did not change, purged a little bit, but here is just all of her kind of flatware and things like that. So it really, really is a space that functions for them now. Here again is the before, how she had to do a lot of purging. It really was not functioning for her. You know, there was too much that she had around the space. Now that she has it cleared out, she has exactly what she needs. She's ready for entertaining. She's ready for everyday use. It's just a really nice, clean and simple space. So she was so very happy with it. I was so happy with it. We also did put chalkboard labels on the two canisters there. So that worked out great too. And she already had those. So that was perfect. And so this just is such a fun space now. I like that it's clean and orderly. And I love, most importantly, that she loved the space. So I hope you have enjoyed me sharing this makeover. I hope you've enjoyed the tips. Have a beautiful day, my friends. And this is Nikki saying goodbye.